Okay, so now we move on to disrupting uh, home claims assessment. And I'm absolutely delighted to have with me Michael Porter, who's the senior leader of international markets at CoreLogic. And Mike's going to take us through uh, the amazing work that CoreLogic claims are doing on, on disrupting claims assessment. Uh, Mike's a familiar face to many of us. Uh, for, for those of us who've been around the market for a long time, they'll, they'll, they'll probably know Mike from both sides of the supply chain. Um, from working in solutions providers, but also working in, uh, in, in uh, on behalf of insurers in claims solutions. So, so Mike knows uh, property claims inside and out. Great to have us to have you with us, Mike. How are things? Very good, thanks, Stuart. It's been a while for you and I since we spoke uh, last, but it's nice to be on this platform, and I'm very appreciative of the invitation. Brilliant. So, so I guess well, the first thing we'd like to get into is is core logic. Uh, uh, can you just give us a little bit of background as to, as to the structure of the company and what you do? I mean, historically, the old guard amongst us will know Symbility. Yeah. And I know there's been some work on brand recently. So did you give us a headline summary of, of yeah. CoreLogic and what you guys do? Happy to. So CoreLogic are um, one of the world's largest providers of data analytics services to the property industry. We're very much a property business and we cover the life cycle of a property and, and really the, an individual's relationship with their home in particular all the way from the, the three segments of that, which we call, you know, the find, buy and protect. So that's, you know, the acquisition of the property, the, you know, the financing of that property, uh, whether that's in a, a rental context or in a purchase context, so mortgage providers and real estate agents as well. And then into the protect sector, which is obviously the part of what I do, which is everything from underwriting, risk management, uh, catastrophe modeling um, and claims. So that's obviously been my focus for, more than the last decade. And, and so that's how the business that everybody would have known as Symbility in the UK previously has become part of the broader CoreLogic business. So that's really interesting. So you've gone, so Symbility has gone from effectively being a, a claims assessment solution, but it's now part of a much, much wider ecosystem yeah. of home, of home solutions. Uh, and, 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 and actually, from an insurance perspective, you cover the end-to-end -end range of insurance solutions and not just claims. That's right, yeah. So, so CoreLogic, primarily a US business, um, about $2 billion in revenue. Um, the majority of, of our operations are in the US, but we have operations in, in seven other international markets, including the UK and other markets in Europe. Um, and so... What what was missing, if you like, in their value proposition for insurance was that they had some great underwriting workflow, risk data, weather verification technology, and solutions on the kind of front side of the of the uh, the risk management part of the insurance model, and also you know supporting underwriting, but they didn't have the claim solution. That was a missing part of their value proposition. So the acquisition of Symbility at the end of 2018 filled that gap and since then we've been working uh well we've been integrated we've we've you know the the, the system is no longer called symbility it's now called logic claims so the symbility brand is being phased out but it's the same product the same team in the market that you're f familiar with the same customers and, and many of the same partners as well but obviously part of a much larger organization fantastic we, we are ilc we, we love claims so can you just give me a, a quick snapshot of, of specifically what you're doing in claims uh, as, as core logic claims yeah so you know the focus is still uh, the same really which is you know we want to provide a an ecosystem to coin a more frequently used phrase these days but we've always talked of a platform that enables collaboration within the claims life cycle um, and adds a bit of functional value along the way not to to do that down too much but we create, um, you know, we, we cover the whole end-to-end -end journey within a claim and we try and do that for as many partners or as many parties within that journey as possible. So whether that's the insurer themselves, their supply chain partners of all different types, um, the policyholder uh, over the last few years, we've definitely been bringing the policyholder into that journey as well through direct interaction with the platform and therefore the, the insurers and, and suppliers. Um, and creating a unified journey for everybody to collaborate and, and drive a better experience, not just for the policy order, which obviously is a focus, but also for the people out there in the trenches, if you like, doing the work, um, the people with muddy boots, the people out there fixing people's houses. We have a, we have a, a real belief that the people who manage claims want to make a positive difference to the people that they're interacting with and our, our reason and our, 
one of the things that drives us as an organization is to try and make that easier for the better uh, better experience of everybody involved. That's really interesting and evidenced by the fact that you've got some long-standing and really experienced claims guys in your team, which is, yeah. which is always good to see. That was a deliberate ploy. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm I'm sure. Okay. I think that, that segues nicely into, to, I think we're going to show a short video showcasing um, show, showcasing CoreLogic claims so, uh, so, so people can get a better idea of, of specifically what you guys are working on. Fantastic. Thank you. When a disaster strikes and one of your policyholders has an incident with their home, they only have one thing on their mind, getting their home and their life back to normal quickly and with as little friction as possible. You want to help them, but resolving claims takes a lot of effort from a lot of different people. How do you easily coordinate all the people, work, and information needed to resolve a claim? Here's how. Introducing Claims Connect, a communication hub to help manage your workflow from FNOL to resolution to keep property claims moving forward. Claims Connect is a single platform where all the information you need to resolve a claim can be found. All the people working on the claim, the information they need, and their actionable items in one place. No more disparate systems, missed messages, or to-dos written on sticky notes covering your desk. Claims Connect's new interface automatically surfaces and prioritizes information and next steps as they're needed, ensuring that each claim is always moving forward. Meaning that everyone working to resolve a claim will always know what steps and actions need to be taken, and in what order, powered by an all-new rules-based engine. Now all the important work you need to get done can be done directly inside of Claims Connect. No more having to switch between softwares to edit and review estimates. Make changes right within Claims Connect. And best of all, everyone can access Claims Connect wherever they need it most. Whether you're a desk adjuster in the corporate head office or a third-party contractor out on site, Claims Connect can be accessed through any browser, on any device, and still gives you the same great easy-to-use and easy-to-understand interface. In fact, the all-new Claims Connect is all about making it easy to keep your claims moving forward. Access the newly designed timeline to see all the actions that have already been taken on a claim, or easily search and filter to just the actions and information that you need to see. Smart notifications make sure you only get notified about important details or actions you need to take on the claims you are working on, and because they relate only to your tasks, notifications can easily be turned into your own personal to-do list. Combine notifications with your assignments list and Claims Connect will make sure you always know what your next move needs to be, because the system will automatically propose what your next assignment is after you've completed the last one. Each screen inside Claims Connect has been purposely designed to help you get more done easily and efficiently. By using contextual blades that pop out from the sides of the screen in order for you to quickly take action on the claim you're currently looking at, no more clumsily searching for the right page to take action on the information from another one, because Claims Connect understands what you need to do and easily lets you get it done. This also includes easy ways to integrate data partners, like aerial roof reports, 3D measurement tools, weather or material identification data, and easy access to real-time reports that allow you to dig into what's happening with all the claims your department has on the go. So the next time a disaster strikes one of your policyholders' homes, don't make them wait to get their lives back to normal. Get your whole team on the same page, working smarter and more efficiently. Keep claims moving forward with Claims Connect. So that, that's a really fascinating insight into, into what you guys do. But I guess one of the things that, 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 that fascinates me, Mike, is that, is that you know, Simbility has been around for a long time. And this is all about uh, disrupting home assessment claims yeah. what gives you the right to say you're still disrupting i i think you are i know you are but but tell me why you are it, well it's a great question Stuart. and i think we um we have we have a number of things that we bring to the table um and it's not just about the functional value that we add in the product whether that's you know the innovation that we bring on site in terms of data capture whether it's um, the automation that we can bring into a workflow. Those are things that we deliver and that we continue to innovate on. Um, we have to do that because our customers demand it of us. There's no, you know, we, we, one thing we never do is take their trust and support for granted. You know, they, they put their faith in us under a contract, which has a certain amount of time to run. And if we're not continuing to deliver new value at the end of the agreement, then they'll start looking elsewhere for that value. So we have to keep doing that throughout Um I think where we really add our value is the enablement of the digitization of the workflow and the process. So, you know, it's easy for, um, easier to, to look at very small parts of that value chain and try and focus in on how you can 
really affect, can, let's say, a, a productivity benefit within that. But what we try and do is ensure that the unpredictability of property claims is, um, is enabled in a workflow model that can change. And as we all know about property claims, one day they can be small and the next day they can be huge. You don't know which way they're going to go, you know, without oversimplifying the, the motor industry and claims, you know, it's a little more linear, at least, you know, if you've got a property, a car to fix, it's likely to go through a similar process, but every property is different. So we've differentiated ourselves over the years. We've been able to support that multi-tiered complex workflow. Um, Nowadays, what we're trying to do is ensure that we can take that platform and the, and the kind of product maturity that we've got and enable our carrier customers, our supply chain customers to access some of the more innovative technology through our stable platform. So whether that's through partnerships with organizations like Sitecall, where we can facilitate the use of their products, or whether it's um, perhaps in other areas of the value chain, uh, data capture on site through augmented reality, whether our own or others, you know, we're, we're trying to drive that process so that as the data is captured and created in these workflows and these parts of the value chain, we're bringing it all into one place and making it available to people to, to process the claims faster, create a better outcome for everybody. So you've got great people, long-standing claims people. You've yeah. got a platform that can facilitate the use of all kinds of solutions, including non-proprietorial ones. Yeah. Yeah. But underpinning it, you still have Symbility, which is obviously a leading home claims assessment solution. Is that that's kind of right. paraphrase? Yeah, that's absolutely right, yeah. The, the people side of it is, is a key point. You know, we've deliberately, over the years that I've been involved in the business and since I started leading the business in, in 2015 in the UK, I... You know, we've, we've recruited actively claims people with claims expertise, both supply chain and on the carrier side to bring their different perspectives to both the how the product has evolved in its functionality, but also how it's deployed for our customers. Perfect. So uh, just a few things, uh, a few other sort of themes that I think be interesting to pull out. I mean, one of the one of the, the, the great things about, about technology and claims at the moment is that it's not just the simple, the simple linear relationship between insurers and providers anymore. There's yeah. much more cross fertilization between different parts of the supply chain. In yeah. the olden days, you would have just been talking to insurers um, and saying, insurers buy Symbility. Who, 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 are, who are your customers now? Who, what what se sectors should be looking to, to call logic? For well, it's very interesting. We've actually made a huge... Um, amount of progress over the years where, you know, businesses have different technology strategies. So I'll, I'll start with the carriers. Obviously, you know, they're the people who control the technology strategy at the top, at the top end. They, they determine the claims management philosophy and that often determines quite significantly which parts of our solutions are deployed and where. But over the years, as we've certainly in the UK and, and other parts of Europe made penetration into the supply chain where the supply chain have been using our applications, they've started to see value in it themselves for the benefit of their own business. So, you know, one of the key ways that those businesses differentiate themselves often is their use of technology and how they can take that to drive a, a better result, whether that be in cost or customer journey or, or whatever. And what, they've, what we're finding now is that some of those organizations are choosing to leverage our technology to support their service offering in a, in a lot more detail. So that's been a big change, certainly the last couple of years. Um, and, you know, but then on top of that, you've also got, we consider all of our user groups to be our customers. So every user experience has to be focused on their needs. So whether they're, whether they have the software mandated to them or whether they've elected to use it themselves, their user experience is important to us. We need to make sure that they want to use the product because if they don't want to use the product, they will work around it and that undermines its value because if the data isn't consistent and of high quality in terms of what's created in the product, then the, the insurers or the supply chain organizations creating the claims in the first place don't get the value that they want. The policy or doesn't get the complete picture when they're interacting with the product. And so, um, you know, we, we focus on, delivering for all of our users as customers, just regardless of who's originating the claim in the product. And, and give, give me a quick sense of a case study that, that you're most proud of, Mike. Well, an example of the use of the solutions that you, you're most 
excited and proud. Of. But, you know, it's interesting. There's a couple of relationships in the UK that we've that are now, you know, pretty long in the tooth. Like we've we've successfully extended those relationships over a number of contract terms and 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 made significant progress in each one of those periods, if you like. Um, I can't, you know, necessarily name names, but one of the things that we did, which was a market first, uh, I believe, in the UK, although I may get fact checked on that, was the ability to really bring the policyholder into the workflow. So where, you know, on on what are typically longer tail buildings damage claims where, you know, there's multiple suppliers involved, there's a significant level of complexity, the policyholder. We used to talk about this in the early you know, in the late noughties and the early 2010s when people were saying, no, the policy order feels like a project manager in their claim. And, you know, they're the one at the center of it that are managing all these suppliers. Well, well, what we've actually done is, I think we'd solved for that a lot by enabling collaboration between suppliers without direct interaction from the insurance company within our platform. So, you know, if a drying company needs to instruct an asbestos testing company, they can do it. They don't need to go back and forwards and send bits of paper or make phone calls. It just happens within the product. And I think what we've then done is, which has made a huge impact both on the quality of the supply chain adoption, the data created and the value from the product, is we've brought the, the policy order into that workflow. Yeah. So they can see who's who, when are they uh, being engaged, what's next, what are the next best, ask, best actions. And we've made that a reality. You know, there's a, lot, a lot of the supply chain organizations have been doing that for their own section of the value chain for a long time. But what we've been able to do as an independent software provider, as you like, if you like, is expand that value across the whole of a workflow, which includes often four or five suppliers, you know, lots of complexity perhaps, but in a very easy to look at, easy to interact with uh, user interface. So very proud of that. It's been a great success. And one thing that I will, long answer, but one thing that I will just say is, We've proven that, and this was in 2017, we proved that the policy order is ready for digital engagement. We knew that before COVID, before people were, you know, doing remote assessments to the level that they are now, people have been ready for this for a long time. So we're very, I'm very proud of that. And I'm proud that we were able to enable that for our customer, who was the driver of the strategy. Yeah, I, 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 I remember the very first ILC, Mike, I'm sure you do, when we, we yes. talked at length about the customer project managing their own claims and, yeah. and how awful that was as a customer experience. It's much more complex as a, a problem, uh, customer solutions in home claims, but if there was one silver bullet, that would be it for me. If you can, get, if you can take that responsibility from, away from customers and having to coordinate their own claim, yeah. uh, that's, a, that's a real, it feels like a silver bullet to me. So good yeah. luck with that. Um, so, uh, Mike, any anything that you want to just uh, do? You want to conclude with? I just want to um, take this opportunity while I've got this platform to speak, really, Stuart. Just to thank all of the businesses um, and partners and customers that work with us uh, in the UK market. We've, as you say, been here a long time. They show they've showed a huge amount of faith in our business and our products. Um, you know, I like to think that we delivered a lot of value along the way, but I just would like to take this opportunity to thank them and also my team for their continued hard work and uh, and and the value that they bring to our organisation every day. That's a lovely way to finish. Thanks very much, Mike. Thanks, Stuart. <laughs>